Is AI going to go all Skynet and destroy the world? Probably, but it's not all bad news. So I haven't really done a video on AI, but I think it's an appropriate time to because I've come to a realization. The realization is that whilst AI generated content is becoming more and more and more prevalent on social media platforms, including YouTube, what I think is that it won't have the effect that a lot of people think. And a lot of people think that AI generated content will be more efficient, clean, timely, and aesthetic than human generated content. Now, technically, that may be true, but I don't think that means that AI-generated content will become more valuable. I think that as the prevalence of AI-generated content increases, the value of humanity and the value of human-generated content will increase as well. Humanity will become scarce as AI floods our attention span or as AI floods the media and platforms we give so much attention to. And it's already happening and you can already see it like there were a couple songs supposedly AI generated, but I think it was just a guy who wrote the song, sung it, and then used AI to overlay Drake's voice onto the song. And then it was pushed out into social media platforms as an AI generated Drake song. And everybody was commenting saying, oh, this is better than real Drake, blah, 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 blah. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that me and myself, like everybody else I know who heard the AI generated Drake songs, we all heard them. We all thought, oh, that's cool. It sounds just like Drake. And then we heard it again. And because you know that it's an AI, you can't unsee that. You can't unhear that. You don't picture Drake himself singing it. You just picture the AI generating it. Do you know what I mean? And then you go and you listen to real Drake and you're like, yeah, that's what Drake is supposed to sound like. Because our favorite artist, when you're first discovering their content, you like the sound of it. You like the look of it. But then you start to form a kind of, not so much a bond, but a connection, maybe a connection, a connection to that person. You get excited for the latest Drake album because it's Drake. And I think that an AI generated Drake album would never take off to the point that a real Drake album would because it becomes about the person. As humans, we strive for human connection. We're animals at the end of the day. And now, I mean, human connection on a companionship level, a family level, a friendship level, a romantic level. Humans strive for connection with other humans. And I think that, as I've said, as AI generated content begins to flood cyberspace, real humanity will become rare or more rare. I don't think it'll ever be wiped out. Or I hope not. But I think it'll become more rare and therefore higher value. So if you're a content creator or if you're worrying about your job being replaced by AI, it depends what you do, to be honest. It depends if you do spreadsheets, which in that case, your job will be replaced by AI. If you're, I don't know, a barista, which is one of my jobs, you could also be replaced by AI eventually. There'll probably be robots that put out barista-made quality coffee with perfect latte art nearly every single time. But then again, I'm thinking, as I'm saying this, part of the reason that people go to a cafe is because they have a good relationship with the barista. That can make or break your decision to go to a cafe. There is a high likelihood that one day in the future, somebody develops a robot that can make perfect coffees and people may react negatively to that because they don't want their coffee to be made perfectly by a robot. They want their coffee to be made by a human they can have a conversation with and understand. And sure, you can have a conversation with an advanced AI robot probably in the future, but 
it's not going to feel the same because it's not human. So I have faith that humans will appreciate and value humanity for years to come. But it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I'm just thinking of other examples where we already value humanity more. Let's say AI-generated images on Instagram. If you see an image of a night sky or an amazing landscape, but then you read underneath that it was generated by an AI, you inherently devalue it in your head. Like it automatically becomes cheaper or more fake because you think to yourself, well, a computer made those pixels appear in this certain way so that my brain thinks that it's an image. But then if you take a very similar image or the same image and you put taken by this photographer at 3 a.m. in this location after a 24-hour hike, you appreciate it because you understand on a human level, okay, if I want to be able to witness this amazing site, I'm going to have to go through what this photographer did and go on this hike for 24 hours and, you know, find that location because it's a real thing. But if it's an AI-generated image, you're like, well, it's not that impressive. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Even nowadays already, people get pissed off or less enthusiastic when they call up a company or when they call up anyone and they're directed to a machine that says, press one for this, press two for this. Like you just want to speak to a human so you can get your point across because there are things at the moment, well, I'm not sure, humans can inherently understand so many nuances through tone of voice, the way we speak, the way we vocalize. There are things that I'm not sure if AI may ever be able to pick up as well as a human can. I could be wrong. I'm happy to be, I'm happy to be proven wrong. Actually, I'm not happy to be proven wrong because I don't really want to face the consequences of that future where every single aspect of human life is replaced by AI. I don't really want that because I think that humanity is something that is going to be missed if it is replaced. It will be missed by by however many humans remain, I guess. But yeah, this could get really deep really quickly. It's not really that um, kind of video, to be honest. Uh, Just thinking of more examples, uh, there's Jordan Peterson clips on YouTube, like YouTube shorts, and it's something that sounds like Jordan Peterson speaking, but the words that are being said, you know that he would never say that. And so it's an AI-generated video being made out to sound like something he said. And the funny thing is that people who know Jordan Peterson, well, I don't know him personally, he's not my friend, I've seen him in person, but he's not my friend. I'm not that close to him. You see, you hear this video and you know straight away that's not Jordan Peterson speaking. Do you understand what I'm saying? So yeah, um, the basic point of this video is I think humanity will be appreciated more as AI becomes more prevalent. I've said that about three times. I'm going to say it again. As AI becomes more prevalent, humanity will be appreciated more, not less especially considering the way the world is going at the moment where there are many narratives and agendas being pushed by people who are in power it's not like people who are in charge of the world are going to let ai content disrupt that agenda now i'm not sure how much i can say on youtube without being cancelled Actually, one thing I will say is they wouldn't have to censor us if we were wrong. Yes, I think that AI-generated content will be very similar in nature to what we already see with the news, the accepted opinions. It's all going to be reinforced by AI. So instead of your favorite newscaster who gives you the same 100 news pieces on a three-month rotation but frames them slightly differently so they sound like original content. You might have AI-generated news videos which cover current events, but just like a news station, they cover the current events in a way that reinforces the agenda. As scary as AI is, I do think there are some parts of humanity that AI will never be able to replace, and I'm thankful for that. 
we'll have to wait and see. I'm interested to see how the popularity of the creator economy will flourish, I guess, as AI-generated content increases in its uh, prevalence. It's going to be a very interesting time. There's no real conclusion yet. There's no real conclusive way for me to end this video because I really don't know. If you are a creator, use this as your message to keep pushing, keep creating, keep creating, cre keep being human, keep appreciating humanity because we don't know what it's going to look like in the next 5, 10, 15 years, to be honest. Again, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, catch you in the next one.